So, Margaret, we know that online presence is important these days, uh, you know, to show your personality. We talked about in the previous video about LinkedIn, and we know that on LinkedIn, a lot of people are creating content, and that content is also resulting with their personal brand. But a lot of times, newcomers or immigrants, they don't know how to start. So what tips you have in terms of creating content that will show their personal brand? Um, well, firstly, while it's obviously great to create your own content, um, such as videos or articles that you can publish mm -hmm. on polls, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, your own content because yeah. you might want to um, establish yourself as an active participant in your own industry by act, like regularly commenting on and sharing relevant content. Yeah. So, for example, while I have, I think, 70 articles on LinkedIn, um, mind you, it's, it's been over the years, right? I didn't yeah. do them all in one year. Yeah. Um, even though I have, I think it's 70 articles on LinkedIn, I don't always have time for writing, you know? Yeah. Um, so I, to be honest, I haven't actually done any writing for, for quite a long time. Um, but I, if I see a relevant, you know, there's, there, there are plenty of, um, like, you know, good authors in my, yes. in my space. So when I see a great article that I think will be of, um, benefit to job seekers or of interest to job seekers mm -hmm. I might just share it and say you know great advice or there, there's actually quite a few people that I really like sharing the content I think the content yes. is great um, and they share content um, I mean they write uh, the, the content is aimed at an experienced job seeker which is kind of my target market both as a recruiter yes. and as, a, um, yeah. as an interview coach so you don't always need to write your own stuff but I would also say like think of if you want to write your own content what comes easier to you because yeah. you know if you hate the camera um you know if you just really don't enjoy why force yourself to do videos you know i yeah. mean it's not for everyone yeah yeah it's not it's not for everyone you know and also when you think of writing content if you don't feel like writing an article what about writing just a longer post and having yeah. like a schedule of different posts that you can yeah. actually do that yeah. adds value to your sector um someone i i work with at, at mixmax um which is a tech startup I'm recruiting for. Um, they, they, she's just she's a growth marketing manager. She just did a, like a 30 day challenge of posting every day on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And it didn't always, I mean, each post offered, offered value, but they were not necessarily long posts. So why not start with that? You know, you don't always need to write an article. So yeah. you, can, you can comment, you can share someone article with your comment. Um, you can like also establish yourself by leaving some thoughtful comments yeah. under the people that you follow so yes. not just a great post but actually offer oh, like a yes. more, more thorough more thorough comment so um you can also like highlight a short list of your favorite industry news sources um you can proactively pick stories that you would like to share with your connections um, on social media and that's also the way you can present yourself as an yeah. expert in your field it doesn't always have to be your own content i think if you can create some, some of your own content great, great but it also depends on what your role and what your goals are you know yeah, yeah. and, I, and um, yeah, and I tell my clients, like, start small, like five likes, five comments, and then share. But when you are sharing, as you mentioned, write something like a summary. I read this article. These are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Or maybe tag people or hashtag things. Absolutely. Or maybe you attended an event, you know, yeah. and share some share some thoughts from your event. Um, yeah. you now that's also how you kind of stay stay on top of mind. You can also use, um, I actually don't do that, but you can, you can um, use software such as, Good suite or yes. to collate and schedule content. Yes. You can also use them to monitor hashtags and brand mention to be able to jump on breaking news stories and yes. industry conversations. I have to say, I'm actually there's a lot that. out there. Have a schedule, have a mindset, and start from somewhere, right? It, it should take time. That's how we did it. Uh, that, again, those are great insights, Margaret. And again, for the audience watching, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in next time for other great questions with Margaret.